That's, that's not my concern. Is Ayn Rand's philosophy sustainable to run a nation? Yeah, I mean, wow. You really believe that? I wish. So I, let, I, let I, I, wish, I wish we had the opportunity you, to show. You really yes. believe Ayn Rand's philosophy is sustainable to run a nation? We yes, the government's role only playing cops, you know, uh, military, only doing that. Absolutely. I, I wouldn't be advocating for the philosophy otherwise, but absolutely. And it's, it, again, the purpose of the philosophy is not to run a nation. The purpose of the philosophy is to run your own life. And, and, and the, the focus should always be on my life. The only nation, the only kind of nation yes. appropriate for my life and appropriate for your life and to maximize your opportunities and my opportunities to make the most of our lives is a nation that is free, that is free of coercion, that leaves us free to pursue our dreams in the, as individuals. So that kind of nation, of course, works because it's a nation where every individual is free to make the most of their lives. And what a beautiful thing that is, right? Because how do we make the most of our lives? We, we make it by, by producing, by creating, by building, and by trading with one another. Here's a follow-up to that question. Sure. Is the concept, is the philosophy of Ayn Rand is it to attract only the Navy SEALs? Is it, is it to only attract the Navy SEALs and we go live in a small place by ourselves, you know, who is John Galt, you know, find all the John Galt's in the world, and we go live together because we have a great understanding of each other and how we're wired? Or is it to help, you know, uh, uh, and I know help is a sensitive word in this community, but is, no, it, to, it's not. is it to help <laughs> and inspire others who are not non-believers yet to convert and say, this way of thinking works, I will also like to be part of this community. Which is it? Because that's the, that's, and by the way, for me, you got to realize where I'm coming from when I ask this question. I'm 100% capitalist. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I grew up in an environment where I know sure. what it is, what socialism sure. and what communism does. Sure. Sure. I know what it is to make people feel guilty, to sure. force, to tax. Sure. If you don't, I left the state for a specific reason, 13.3% to force me to pay for it. And you don't want to fix the yeah, world. You're not a poor you're not a real capitalist. Yeah, I'm not a 4% <laughs> yet. Not a 4% yet. But, 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 but that's the real question. Are you just trying to attract the Navy assault? I'm trying economy? to attract any individual who takes their life seriously. I'm trying to attract anybody who's open to these ideas. It, you know, it's, it's and, and ultimately, look, even if a majority of people don't accept these ideas, but are introduced to them and their lives is made better because these ideas have political influence and we have a more capitalist environment, or their lives is better because they take the responsibility for their own life more seriously rather right. than obsessing, obsessing constantly about what their mother told them to do or, or how to help other people. But first and foremost, focus on themselves, then the lives of everybody become, all of those people become better, and of course the political life becomes better. So, no, the philosophy, the philosophy fits any human being willing to engage in his own reason. So, so I'll This go is back. not some elitist, you know, let's but it go sounds create like a goal. No, but it sounds like it. For me, hypothetically, the moment you make $100 million, you start getting invited to weird parties. <laughs> and you go to these I meetings. I haven't, haven't got there yeah, yet. And so you go I, to I these meetings know. and I say, do you honestly know who I am? I'm a one-point GPA guy. All yeah. I did is work my ass yeah. off. And I read 1,500 business books and I got in this situation. Okay, yeah. great. I don't think of myself as this special guy that did this. But sometimes I find guys and gals who came from a family a lot of money and they feel they're elite because they were raised in that environment. Make sense? So for me, when I think about this philosophy, I say, is this a philosophy to just attract all those free thinkers to come together and let's create a community together because logically, based on reason, which is what the community of Ayn Rand likes, I just don't see a nation sustainable to run it based on this but philosophy. that's because I, you're pessimistic about human nature and I'm optimistic absolutely about not. it. Absolutely not. No, I'm so, not. So I believe every individual is capable of reason. I believe every I individual well. is capable of taking care of themselves. I mean, put aside the less than 1% that for whatever reason were born with some defect Fine. and they can't do it. Every individual is capable of taking care of themselves. Every individual is capable of reasoning. Every, every individual is capable of achieving their potential in life. This philosophy is for those individuals. Since every individual is capable of reason, every individual is capable of getting this philosophy. Will it happen in my lifetime? No, right? And would I prefer in my lifetime if I could to live um, in a community of people who get it and live. Sure, I mean, I, I'd love I that. that. But, but, but you know and I know that nobody's going to leave that community alone. So that community is not going to be able to survive as a standalone entity because the, bad, the, the guys who don't want to leave it alone have big guns and, 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 and big weapons. But there's absolutely zero reason why this can't be the dominant set of ideas in a culture, the dominant view of the people in the culture. And, and look, most people, 
uh, are not philosophers. Most people are not intellectuals. But they are influenced by the philosophers and intellectuals. So my view is when we get to the point where a substantial number, maybe a majority, of intellectuals and philosophers and thinkers in the culture are advocates for these ideas, the culture will follow. That is, the rest of the, 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 the nation, the country, however you want to call it, the community, will follow, and you will get a society based on these ideas. There, there's nothing in the ideas that prevents that. There's nothing hard or impossible or anti-human in the ideas. On the contrary, the ideas are built. To be practical, the ideas are built in a sense. They work because they're derived from reality. I, I, so, so here's, so okay, so every time I come to L.A., if I go to a place and I see this world peace stuff, right? It's a world peace, world peace, world peace, and I see it everywhere. I'll always go to them. I say, so tell me how you're going to get world peace. Well, but, you know, and, and, and I'm asking them, so tell me how you're going to get world peace. Sure. The way we get world peace is this, 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 and all these rich people, you know, all these, this, this, this. And if we got rid of religion, and if we got rid of this, and we got rid of this, this is how we could get world peace. I said, so what you're pretty much telling everybody around the world is, the only way we can get world peace is for you to think like me. Yeah. Okay? That's what they're saying. That, that's yeah. the idea of world peace. Okay. So how do we so, get world peace? Well, let me give you an example of world peace. So, so after the Napoleonic Wars in, uh, in the 19th century until World War I, there was basically, on the big picture, pretty much world peace. Why? Because we had capitalism, or, or as, good, as close to capitalism as we've ever had. Since World War II until today, um, or, and, and certainly since the fall of the Berlin Wall, we haven't had major wars, and today is actually the least violent period in all of human history. We've had fewer wars Absolutely. right now. Absolutely. So we're yes. as close to world peace as we've ever been. Why? Because more and more countries around the world are becoming free. Thank you for listening or watching the Iran Brooks Show. If you'd like to support the show, we make it as easy as possible for you to trade with me. You get value from listening. You get value from watching. Show your appreciation. You can do that by going to iranbrookshow.com slash support, by going to Patreon, subscribe star, locals, and just making a appropriate contribution uh, on any one, of those, uh, any one of those channels. Also, if you'd like to see the Iran Brooks Show grow, please consider sharing our content, and of course, subscribe. Press that little bell button right down there on YouTube so that you get an announcement when we go live. And for you, those of you who are already subscribers and those of you who are already supporters of the show, thank you. I very much appreciate it.